it still feels like people are finding the show and the audience keeps growing and growing. People walk past and say, what are you guys shooting? You say, person of interest. And they scream and holler and they say, that's my favorite show. The last four episodes we have lined up revelations about each of these characters in terms of their backstory. Each of these characters is a mystery to a degree. How they wound up here, how Reese fell off the grid, what happened to him. Over the course of this season, we delve back into what exactly it was that went wrong. When you find that one person who connects you to the world, you become someone different. When that person is taken from you, what do you become then? When we first meet the character of Jessica, obviously in the pilot, I think one of the great things about the, the way it opened was it, it was a mystery uh, in terms of his backstory. Who was this woman? What happened to this woman? I wish this weekend could go on forever. And eventually you, you understand that she's no longer with him, but you don't understand what happened. And in many ways that loss defines his character. Where we really found the meat of that story, I think around 103, the flashbacks in that particular story all dealt with Reese and Jessica. John. I didn't know you were back from over there. And him pushing her away. And at the time, feeling that he was doing it for her own good. Oh yeah, I got engaged. His name's Peter. He's a lucky guy. We learned a lot more about how he felt about Jessica and how that loss continued to define him as the year went on. In the end, we're all alone. And no one's coming to save you. It's a line that's come up again and again, and it's one of the things that the characters in the show are trying to disprove week in, week out. And I think this is central to kind of the superhero mythos. You know, if you look at Batman or Spider-Man, you know, it's all rooted in this kind of fantasy that there's someone out there who cares, that there's someone out there who would intervene if something terrible was going to happen. <laughs> Reese pushed her away, she found a relationship with the character Peter Arndt, and he felt like that was the domestic situation that was right for her. Me and the wife just put a down payment on our first house. You don't say. Sounds nice. Only to realize later that he was pushing her into the arms of a man who ultimately turned out to be a monster. Where he realized that having devoted his life, as he says in the pilot, going around the world looking for bad guys, only to come home and discover that the person that he'd entrusted, the only person he ever loved to, turned out to be a bad guy as well. I'm uh, looking for someone, a nurse, Jessica Arndt. I'm sorry to have to tell you this. Jessica died in the car, so. Finch is someone with his understanding of the machine and Reese's past and what happened to Jessica. Here shall happen before we started working together. Because of that, there was nothing that either one of us could have done. The audience finds out what happened in that relationship, and I think it leads to a greater understanding of Reese. And also, to an extent, I think it furthers or cements the relationship between Finch and Reese. Target locked. You are cleared to engage. We're going out with a bang. The finale is a whale. I mean, it's monstrous. We're out here shooting what we hope is a really big, really exciting and fitting finale for a big season for us. A nemesis returns in a shocking fashion. I think one of the fun things about our show is the ability for us to surprise people. I think it's one that's going to keep viewers on the edge of their seats and really launch us into season two in a really different and exciting way. One of our heroes is going to be in real trouble.